What's going on YouTube, Jason right here. So in today's quick video, I'm going to show you the customization options you have with iOS 16 beta one. If you didn't update to it already and you're putting off updating to it, right now I do not recommend you to update iOS 16 even though I have it right now in here, iOS 16 developer beta one. It was just released yesterday and the major selling point of it is that you can now customize the lock screen just like on a jailbreak. Well, close enough. This video is brought to you by Any Unlock, a software that allows you to basically unlock the screen passcode, unlock Apple ID, bypass MDM, and even remove the iTunes backup encryption. Definitely check it out in the link below, there is a free trial available. So I'm going to show you exactly how this customization works and what you can do with the iOS 16. So right now this is my lock screen, it looks like this, that's the font I picked, and I have a couple of widgets in there, including the phone battery and the fitness rings. Now if you press and hold right now on the home screen, you have the option to select between the ones that you created, this one for example is color based and this one would change as well the home screen so once you change the picture here you also pair it with the picture on the home screen all right so this is one of the options that i have and this one is the default when you first install ios 16 this is going to be your default font and it's no longer that thin font that they used to have on the lock screen you have the option to create your own you press in here and you have a lot of options to choose from but of course not as many as you have on a jailbreak so for example we have in here a couple of photos we have the option for people, photos, photo shuffle. Photo shuffle basically allows you to select multiple photos and shuffle them during the day and they would change automatically on your lock screen. You have emojis in here and you can basically customize between the emojis that you have. For example, I'm going to select this one and as you can see it changes the whole emoji. Same with this one in here, same with this one in here and that's basically the emoji one. The weather one is pretty self-explanatory. It basically shows the current weather conditions on your location. If it rains it's going to show rain, if it snows it's going to show storm and it's actually animated. You can then of course select a different font face over here, for example this one or this one. There are six fonts in total in here, you cannot add your own, there's no option to import your own font. And there are a couple of languages in here that you can select between, as you can see over here, but the fonts that they have are nothing special. I particularly like this one and this one over here, but those are kind of the best you can get. You cannot import your own. Then you have the color options in here, you can basically customize the color, including the slider over here to make it darker or lighter that's actually a great touch as you can see over here you can basically match it with the wallpaper that you have and here you can add your widgets so the widgets depend on the applications you have some applications will have their own widgets in the near future because they actually created an api that the developers can use in order to insert more widgets into your home screen so many applications will be updated in the future to include those widgets that you can just pop in in there and you know be done with it and once you do they basically get the same color as the rest of the text. Now if you go here with color you can basically select a solid color as your wallpaper like this and then you can turn it and of course make it darker or more vibrant and so on. So it's nothing special but it works. If you want to create a pretty clean looking lock screen it would work pretty fine. Select your proper font and it would be okay. I'm gonna go with this and here if you slide you have various options for that color as well from solid to bright vapor, deep and tone and vibrant. So yes, multiple options in here that you can choose from, but nothing spectacular. Here you have a couple of featured ones with pride, for example, this one in here. And then you have the uh, unity one, which is this one. As you can see, the clock has two different colors in there, which is actually nice. And then there is this one in here, which as you can see, it somehow puts the clock behind the wallpaper. The clock is a little bit hit by the wallpaper. Now you can add widgets at the top as well. You can add the fitness and stuff like that. So it's pretty easy to customize that. Now you also have in here suggested photos, so if you press on one it will automatically create a lock screen from your photos and you can easily choose by swiping from natural to black and white basically and that's about it. You can disable the perspective zoom and disable the depth effect. That's basically it. Let's put a couple of widgets in here, those that I have and in here on the date you can also select a couple of widgets, for example no upcoming events, this one here and that would be your lock screen. It looks okay, it looks nice, it looks like you're jailbroken sort of but it's nowhere near what a jailbreak can achieve. So yeah, that's basically it. That's the customization for the lock screen on iOS 16 beta. If you are curious, that's what you can do for now. Many applications will be updated in the future to have widgets that you can add in there. So your lock screens would probably get much more interesting than that. But for now, that's what you can do. So I wouldn't update if you want to jailbreak. So yeah, thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.